Welcome back, folks. Today we're hanging out at Peter Dima's shop. We're actually going to be working with Kevin. He's going to take us through the steps on a valve job. He's working on a the new two liter engine, but this is a cylinder head off of a Nissan Indy car, and it has been adapted to fit their two liter. So it's pretty cool stuff. Listen in. I think you guys are going to like it. Doing right here on the two liter head, I believe, right? I believe, right? Kind of roughing the the valve guides to size. I ream, run a reamer through them first and then we'll haul them. So. Now it looks like this has obviously new seats. Did you? Yeah, we installed just... new seats um, and new guides. And what are the differences in the seats? I think there's two different colors. The exhausts are brilliant copper. They're, and then the, these are just a bronze. I think it's a uh, Aluminum bronze. They're, they come from CHE. They make the guides in the seats to our specs. And, uh, and we got to size them. And this is the technique Windex. Yeah, huh? we use Windex on bronze. It makes the, the ream just glide through them. Now these are obviously what larger seats, right? Than what this um, this well, head had originally, because you guys make your valves. It's actually, the um, I'm sizing them to the same size as we did with a V12, uh, so that because um, we got such good airflow out of it. So the ratio is we're actually running smaller exhaust than they came with and bigger intake. And are these, uh, this is the, the valves you showed us before, the NASCAR valves that are- Yeah, these are NASCAR valves that, that you turn down, turn down. To, to fit this head. Okay. Well, this is honing the, the guides, get the final size for the, the valve. And this I use Molly, Molly D. It's a, uh, actually a tapping fluid, but it seems to work the best for honing. <laughs> And that just kind of gets into the final size for the, the valve stem itself. Yeah, now you got to check this several times because you don't want you don't want to go too big with it. You just and you're just going by. So yeah, that's see, very that's tight. Too yeah, that's tight. too tight. So you just it's like say more feel, but you really need about a right at about a thousand thousand and a half. So one and a half thousandth difference in the tolerance. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you need really probably a little more. It's probably about a thousand and a quarter. You just check it several times. And then it goes, but it still has still a little... still too snug, so you make another pass. Drag. Yeah, it drags. So. And that's kind of bringing it, these are, like you said, six millimeter, right? Six millimeter, yeah. You don't want to leave it in there too long and make it too big. So you... Oh, absolutely. Just, yeah. Gotta work at it. Um, Are you able to show me real quick on the cams? Are they still right there? What do you mean? Um, how you roughed them in? Well, I, or what do you call it? Rough in or based on yeah, the firing I mean, order? I, I basically just cut some material out of the way so it's easier for him to grind it. But I did it so that um, this is going to be a, a one three four two firing order. So if you go through this, this like this is number one, uh -huh. ninety degrees, which. Would be 180 of the crank would be 90 degrees of the cam. This is number three. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. And then another 180 of the crank, 90 of the crank. That's four. four. And then another 180 or 90 of the cam is two. Okay. So. And because they they both are the you know, one's intake, one's exhaust. You know, they're they're both the same 
same order they just you know the exhaust would be before the intake okay so when these go down the Snyder do they is there another treatment that has to occur to them do they copper yeah, these them will what be are they coppered call? what is that then they'll rough it in okay then they'll send I mean a rough that's real close within about 30 thousandths of the finished grind and then they they will send it out for heat treating and then they'll finish grind them okay they'll do all the bearings and the cam lumps. cool well hopefully we'll be able to Maybe we can get down at Snyder and watch them grind these. That would be kind of neat. Or the profiling. Whatever. I do a, a throat, throating cut too. So what angle is this one that's cutting This right is now? a 30. And your final is a 45? The angle is 45 yards. So is it a... What are, what are the three angles? Is it a 60 also? Or? Well, this is a 60. Um, the top is 30, the angle is 45, and then I, I have um, a 75 that I do kind of in the field. This is 75. Mm. Just, you know, just to open up underneath the, the seat. Trying to get it opened up so that the seat is about 60 wide, 40 to 60. So 30 to 60? No, 40 to 60 as far as the width. Okay. Same thing, Windex, huh? That's the, it's, that's the key. The optimal cutting fluid. Seems to work pretty good. It's in the 60 range, I'd say. Well, I so, start, I start, like I say, I get it. I'll big, make sure it's bigger than the valve with a 45. So this is the 45? Yeah. It's All actually right. like say, you can see it's 46, so they were in an angle. An interference angle, yeah. they call it. Yeah. This is 31 for the top angle. And that's the top. Then I hit it with a 60, and this is 75. And that's the final step. Yeah. Okay. So I set, like, like I said, make sure this is bigger than the valve. This one I set to the valve, about 10,000 smaller than the valve. This one, I, I bring it down to about, like say, in between 40 and 60 thousandths wide. And then this is the, the mm -hmm. final cut. It's all right, so you go through all four of these cuts. Then after that, then you lap the valves. Yes. And then you're just checking the, yeah. the contact or the... the contacts all around, um, we'll get to the next one. And then you go on to next and you repeat, 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 repeat. Yeah. There it is, the famous lapping compound. I just use the finest, this is 280, it's about as fine as I could find. I guess I'd probably have some ultra fine or something, but 280 is pretty good. That's the grid of the lapping compound. Yeah, just in a fine abrasive, huh? Yeah. You don't put any real downward pressure, you're just spinning this. It's kind of lightly spinning it, yeah, just getting it to rotate. That's just kind of filling in, polishing down any imperfections, right? Well, it's, I don't do it for that. I do it more for checking just to see if we're off. The angle is off. Angle's off, it won't seal. So, you know, I mean, the, the make sure it lines up, not side to side. There's an area where it's not contacting. And that's it's pretty much the same as the last one. Yeah. Beautiful. Can I put the valve in? We 
show us what you got going on today. Yeah, on. we're ceasing the chambers on this Nissan or Infiniti two liter Indy head. Um, what I did is I put grease to seal um, each of the valves and this is grease around here. And then I'm going to use this barrette and Oops. fill it up with water. So come over here. This is special CC water? No, oh. <laughs> this is tap. This is all the magic again. So you can fill up the, uh, you call it a barrette? Yeah. You need to close the valve on the end so it doesn't uh, leak out as you fill it. There you go. Well, you need to get all the bubbles out of that. Yeah. Anyway, and then you gotta make sure you get all the bubbles out of here. Well, there's the bubble. Well, I just, you gotta get the, so you don't want any bubbles along the, the barrette. Oh, that's pretty cool. Them all to come up and then you gotta, Kind of calibrate it. Basically, zero it out to the top of the scale. Scale there. The cues and tighten. Yeah. And I put a little bit of an angle to this. Try to get as much of the air out as possible. I see that. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. Now we got a little bubble down there by the... I shake the bubble out. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. Ooh. What was that? Don't know. That was a big boom. That's part of the heat, was it? I have no idea. Try to get it so you get all the air out of here. And that's it. Now so we now go we do to the math. Here, and we check this out and we got 30. Well, right at 30. <laughs> so that's 30 cc? 30 cc chamber. And is that? That's, well, I don't know. We have to use that to calculate out the compression ratio and everything, but well, that's, that's how we good. measure it so we can. Do you do that on all of them or just one? I'll usually do a couple, but just, just to, just to make sure that they're consistent. So. Make sure I didn't have one that's way different. So that's you're just going to take that number, use that? Yeah, and when we're doing the compression ratio, figure that out, see what size pistons we need to put in it. So it's really not too scientific. You're just using a Lexan plate. It's got a hole drilled in it. You're using grease to seal this yeah. chamber. Yeah. I mean, that's as scientific as it gets. Okay. It's the closest to a scientific instrument as we have. <laughs> Good old fashioned shit works, right? Well, that's it for today, folks. Thanks again for watching. We will post some more videos here shortly. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you.